This is, or this was my basil. Uh, seems like every year I'm buying basil. I don't know why I do that. Uh, I forgot about this and um, looks like the frost got it. I, I dug it up, brought it in, but slowly uh, the leaves started browning up and it uh, doesn't look like it's going to come back. But I did, there were some green spots on it and I cut them off and uh, put them in a cup. They've been in here about two weeks and I have roots. I have some good good sized roots on here so it's time to put them in soil I guess. And um, I mean it's nothing special it's just a, a sweet basil but you know why buy basil over and over again it's just a a sweet basil variety and uh, you ever see the price of basil in a grocery store and if you buy basil the cuttings you know they you find out that they, they unless you store them properly in a paper towel I think they, they go bad pretty quickly they turn black and mushy so so hopefully uh, I'll have two new basil plants here I'll have them in the window and I'll have them uh, throughout the year and I won't have to buy any more. So what I have here is cups that I usually use for my fig uh, cuttings and uh, I've melted holes on the side and they're clear so I'm going to see the progress that this, this basil makes and uh, revisit it in, in a week or so and see uh, how the roots are going and how the plants progressing. Uh, the soil I'm going to use is same soil I have for figs too. It's really light. I got a lot of perlite in here and uh, so I'll have to watch the watering but I, I didn't want to, I thought maybe I didn't want to present too much resistance to the roots, give a nice airy mixture that they can spread out in and uh, get acclimated to and start their their growing uh, transition from water into soil. So we'll see how that works. So just put some soil in these cups. Take one of these cuttings. You can see the amount of roots on that. Slowly fill in around the roots. And that's what one good thing with this light soil is that it easily you can direct it around the roots with uh, minimal disturbance to the roots. So hopefully I'll have two basil plants and save me some money. Now I did, oh that's got a lot of roots on it, I did take off all the large leaves from this plant because it, you know, it, it was just a cutting and it had no ability to supply, uh, you know, water to those leaves. Um, I did read online that, you know, you can go ahead, I thought maybe I would have it in the shade, but you can go ahead, put it on the windowsill. Uh, in full sun as long as you take all the large leaves off and I would imagine it's going to use its photosynthesis to help uh, grow those roots but I uh, wasn't certain whether or not you know putting it in full sun would just wilt the cutting and kill it right off so there you go now of course roots don't normally or aren't normally subjected to light. So I have these cups that I'm going to cut the bottom off and just slip them over. You know, actually, you know, I could just leave it like that, I guess, as long as I watch the watering. But there you just, you know, you can take this off, take a look at how the, the roots have progressed 
or how they're progressing and um, without subjecting them to light. So there you go, you know, I mean even if you buy basil, why well, just buy it and use it up and, and buy it again, you know, you could take the cuttings that you buy uh, from the grocery store also and, and root them and have your own basil of different varieties. And uh, if you know, just go ahead and I like to use these water bottles to control the amount of uh, water I'm adding. Go ahead and slowly give the soil good soaking. And you should be on your way to a nice healthy basil plant. And uh, Going to have to buy basil again. So water it in, and uh, I'm going to put this in full sun, and I'll revisit it in a week. Take a look at how the roots have progressed, and hopefully the plant hasn't died. And uh, I'll end up with uh, two basil plants, and I won't have to buy basil anymore, and I'll save myself some money. And uh, you could do this probably with cuttings that you, you purchase in the grocery store. I mean, there's no sense just buying the basil, using it, and buying some more. Always have basil avail nice fresh basil available when you need it. So, give this a try, and um, we'll see what it looks like in a week. And hopefully uh, I'll have some progress here and nice strong plants. So, thanks for watching my videos.